welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming, this time around in English as you may already have noticed and today we are going to have a look at three different games again which will be word game like no other, um, rock paper scissors deluxe, or deluxe, deluxe or deluxe, I'm not sure, um, and note fighter. My name is Gerald, as always I've got a couple of different things again, again which are of course a mouse, Bluetooth of course, and we are going to use some kind of a keyboard, in this case a foldable keyboard. There could be the, the Xbox One as well as controller, but that one is not included in this episode, so it's staying at the side. And of course, what we have here is the smartphone. It's a Lumia 950 XL, um, has a motion cover at the back of it with, with real wood on it. Um, is connected with a USB-C connector at the bottom here and that enables more or less the possibility to connect it to the display dock which is standing at the side here and that one is connected by HDMI to this TV and like this we can more or less produce this desktop-like experience from the smartphone so the smartphone is the one that is generating all this um, to the TV, to the big screen, whatever you want to uh, connect it to and like that we are able to use for instance our mouse or keyboard whatever to control everything in here. If you want to know more about that please have a look at the corner up there. There's a little bit more about this technology which is called Continuum. And yeah, today I would say let's start with the first game. It's going to be a game like no other. Is it like no other? I'm not sure. But at least it's a fun game and I want to show it to you. So we will go to the all apps list, go into this and go to word game like no other. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn around for this. This is more like some kind of a game where you are going to have to guess different things from more or less tips and hints they are going to give you. And um, then you really have to just uh, try to spell it out in the right way and like that you're going to receive points. I'm going to change my position here as much before. And what I'm going to show you is um, what's going on here. Okay, so first, declare a plan for something. So, um, in general, I'm not a native speaker, so, uh, so sometimes I have a little bit of trouble to find those things, but whatever. Um, we will see what's going on here. So, as you can see, you will have a couple of different options here, and those are the letters you're going to have to put on the board more or less. Those are the ones which are available at all and now you just have to think about what is this sentence, so the word you're going to uh, search for. So declare a plan for something. Maybe shadow something or so, I'm not sure, but there is no D, so that's not going to be the right word I would say. Um, let's see. Declare something. Define. Declare a plan for something. To. Plan out, I'm not sure. Okay, if you don't know what's going on, then you can click on this button, which is a hint button, and if you do that, you're going to receive one letter at a time, um, and you're going to have a probably better chance to do what you are going to have to do here. I would say schedule or something, but no, I, I, there's no D. I, I don't think that schedule is the right one. Okay, next one. Okay, S U to I'm pretty sure you already know it, but I don't, so suggest Really? No, can't be. I, I don't think so. Um, if something is wrong, he's going to get it back again. So if you're clicking hint in this case and um, you're going to have the, the wrong letter in there, he's going to give you that too. It's, uh, it has to be, right? just has to be just says something. Yeah, okay, it's... Um, I'm not really sure why it's going to be um, yeah, blinking red or something, but blinking red means that you've got the right word for some reason. I'm not sure why. So, he's going to give you tips. Sometimes he's going to give you some kind of a reward, more or less, so something like a good or just some kind of an 
of a nice phrase that is going to uh, to say, hey, you have done well. And after that you are just going to click on next and the next one is going to appear after a small while. And so curio curiosity about something, wonder, interest maybe, it, it might be interest. Okay, that should be the right one. And as, my, as they mentioned it, you can drag and drop the parts where you want it or you just click on them. Should work at least. Didn't for me now. Come on. No. Okay, I'm going to drag and drop, so I'm not sure. Interest. There we go. And now we got the button, we got it right, and we got this this little hey great, great we uh, done, whatever. Um, info there because we didn't use any kind of hints or hints, and so it really worked out pretty well. Yeah, and this is more or less what the game is all about. So you're going to just guess those words, try to, to uh, tell them there, and you're going to get these questions or yeah, re some kind of a, of a statement in any kind of way, and uh, you're going to have to guess what kind of word it is. So one last, and then I would say, let's go to the next game. The usual underground organ of a plant that lacks leaves. Probably the root, I would say. So for that, R, or R, O, O, T in this case. There we go, got it. And like this, you're going to go through the, uh, the parts here and just play it on and on and on. I, I don't think there's much more to say about this game. Um, I like it somehow, it's, it's fun for in-between uh, stuff and if you just want to have a small, yeah, a small little game in between somewhere, somewhere, then this is a good one and it's going to be a little bit puzzly. Um, there are a couple of different words and, and yeah, difficulties in there, but it's not unsolvable or something. Even if you're not a uh, native speaker, you might be able to solve it, as you can see here. Okay, so let's have a look at the second game. The second game is a little bit of a strange one, I think. Um, it's called Rock, Paper, Scissors, Deluxe, okay? And I'm just going to activate it now. Go to my all apps list, go here and rock, paper, scissors, deluxe. There we go. Um, what is this? This is a little game where you're going to play the favorite song. A game, of course, or the very, very famous song. Uh, famous song, yeah. Play a famous song for everybody. No. A famous uh, game, of course. And uh, yeah, in the end, what they are going to do here is they're giving it a little bit of... Um, face model. So there are going to be characters in there, there are going to be different kind of sometimes fun things in there. I, I will show you. And uh, as you can see you have just two different characters which are going to play uh, this game against each other. Problem about it is it has some kind of, of advertisement as you can see but you can just jump over it and most cases. So um, in this case we are just going to have a look in the options. There's not too much to show here, just that there is music playing and of course the audio, so some kind of sound effects and stuff like that. You can shut that off or not. Other than that, just click on play. Yeah, it was a little bit fast there, but doesn't matter, the second one is, is fine too. We already selected our own one because I just clicked too early. And uh, now we should select another player. And as you can see, all those players are more or less going to be a little bit different in their playstyle. Especially that one is just unbearable. I don't know why they put it in it's there, but it's fun somehow. So why not? And um, so in the end, as you can see, always throws rock, always throws scissors. I think that's not very much fun to play. So we are going to get one which is going to throw randomly, as you can see. And now everything, or all you have to do now is, give me one second, just turning down the music a little bit. All you have to do now is you're just going to select one of the buttons down below here. For instance, rock or something, I don't know, it doesn't matter. And uh, after a while, you're going to see what's happening, and of course, he won because I just got rock and he got paper. Paper is going to cover up rock, and like that, he won this game. And now you're just playing it. I don't know exactly why you do it, because in the end it's of course all random, 
There's no kind of... of um... Okay, he won again. Let's do random, whatever. And he won again. Interesting. I'm going to show you the sheet guy. That, that's really fun. I, I really like it. Okay, we won, so we got the point, of course, and otherwise he's going to get the point. And, of course, there are ties, too. And that is more or less all that is there. I, I think you can play it forever if you want to. Not that it makes any kind of sense to do it, but whatever. And, yeah, as mentioned before, it's a little bit fun to have the game at all, because it's really just some kind of a random generator or something that is going to decide everything for you. You're not really able to do much about it, but whatever. Um, I still wanted to show it to you because, yeah, for somebody it might be fun. As you can see, it can be very annoying what they are doing with the advertisement here. Um, so, let's get rid of that. I'm going to select one, whatever. And now let's play against almost always sheets. Yeah, he's really almost always cheating. Um, the funny thing about it is you don't even see his fingers or something. So, he's just telling you, yeah, I, I won. Perfect. Well done. <laughs> so if I go to uh, to paper, I won. Play again, because you don't even see how he wa has won or something. So um, just don't play it like that. Just use the other one. And again, advertisement is in there, and I even clicked it. Go out there. Okay. After a while you can, uh, can jump over it, so it's still fine somehow. But this is really annoying. Don't do that to me. If I just skip the, the advertisement, you are not allowed to, to give it to me right back. It's not fine. Okay, so let's play always throw scissors. I don't know why, but we can of course. So in the end they, they are just yeah somehow having some kind of a theme, and in this case some kind of a Wolverine scene or so. So she's always giving you scissors in this case, because of course, blades, you know? Blades from her, her hand there. So that's the fun part about it. So of course you can always go, for instance, rock with her, and you're going to win this. Um, it's not really making any kind of sense, but whatever. So. No, no, play it, don't play it. I just wanted to show it to you because it's somehow fun to see what people are going to try out there and what kind of games there are. But um, I just think it's fun to, to have seen it at least. Um, I wouldn't play it. Just to let you know. Or, or not too long at least. Just try it out if you want to. Um, but in the end, it's fun to see it. Okay, and now comes a game that is really one I really admire, probably. Um, the problem is that it's not very well playable with your mouse on the big screen. So for the smartphone itself, it's a great one. You should should really try it out, especially if you want to learn, for instance, notes or something. Uh, music notes, of course. And uh, if you like that kind of thing, then try it out. I really like it. Otherwise, it's really a little bit tough to play, but we are going to try it anyway. It's called Note Fighter. A Note Fighter is more or less something that is going to try to teach you how to read notes and have a little bit of fun with it too. And of course you're going to play music with it, which is a nice thing too. So I'm going to go up with the volume here a little bit, because it's just going to be the right thing to do for this kind of game. Um, it has some kind of a steampunky look to to it for some reason. I don't know why they did that or why they, did, they got into that direction. But I still really like it. As you can see, a steampunk look. And um, yeah, so let's have a look at the settings first. There's not too much to see here, but still, we can have a look there. You can shut off music and sound, which is really damn stupid if you are playing this kind of game. So just leave it in. And other than that, um, how to play, we could uh, have a look at that, but I think we should just go and play. As you can see, we can, for instance, get different kind of um, musical instruments here to play, and a couple of them are, are not free, but I would go with piano or the choir, or choir, sorry, choir. Um, yeah, let, let's go with the choir first. And as you can see, you've got three different um, 
songs here to play from and that are easy songs, medium songs and hard songs. We are going to play the, the easy one and we are only going to practice because as mentioned before it's very hard to do that with only your mouse in this case. Because as you can see all you have to do now is more or less follow along what they are going to give you here and try to play the song. And as you can see the little guy that is standing there is going to more or less um, navigate you through that. And there we go. Um, and he's going to try to really get rid of the notes that are going to fight you more or less. That is why it's called Note Fighter. So in the end, everything that is going on here is really he's going to, to try to get rid of the notes that are flying at him with his stick. And of course his uh, composer, is it called a composer? I'm not sure. A uh, guy that is going to navigate through the song for every music musician that is going to play it. And um, in the end, he is going to fight the notes like that. And I like it somehow. It's really fun. It has a nice little touch to it, you can really hear the music playing, even if you're not very fast with it or something. I'm going to go to, for practice again. <laughs> that song is of course a little bit easier. Um, depending on the difficulty level, you can play the, uh, the notes whenever you want in the practice or the, the easy mode but if you're going to go into a harder one so a higher uh, difficulty level then you are going to have to really play it in the last section so in this section to really get everything done and as it should be and of course there are different songs which are much much more difficult than these the interesting part is that there is no kind of um, higher pitch or something you are going to have to play. So an E for instance is an E no matter if it's a low or a higher one. Same with every other note here. But still I really really like this uh, game for the simplicity of it and I just like the music they are going to give you there. Not for every day of course but um, in the end I really like it. And the fun thing about it is that there is this kind of health bar. Okay, we are going to lose it now. Just too fast for me if I'm going to tell you something about it too. But uh, yeah, the problem as I mentioned before is that with the mouse it's really not the best thing to do. If you are really holding your smartphone uh, in, the, in the landscape mode for instance, it's going to be much more fun to play this. And... Okay, let's try it to get something out here. Okay, got the wrong note because I clicked a little bit early, but whatever. And in the end, as you can see, you're going to play the different yeah, music here. Um, it costs something if you want to play all the different uh, songs that are available, but for the three first ones, you are going to be, yeah probably fine with the first ones to play them and if you really like it then just buy the other ones. Um, I think that's fair with uh, the money there. We are going to play it with piano too because I'm more like a piano guy and I really like the different songs here so let's try it again. too early, okay. Very easy for you to play this even with the mouse because it's slow enough. The fun thing is that there is some kind of a health bar. Let's, let's try it in a different mode so you can see that. 
let's do the hard song, whatever. And we are going to go to easy for the first time. And that one is going to kill us. As you can see, there is this health bar, which is going to more or less kill us sooner or later, because uh, all the different uh, notes we missed there. Let's go to the medium one, go to easy again. And so there are different um, difficulty levels here. And I'm going to try to play it more or less at the same space, at least a little bit. But as mentioned before, it's a very wide weight with the mouse, especially on the continuum one here. And we're going to die horribly. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, but I think you already got what this game is all about. I really like it for what it is. Um, if you want to play it, just play it on your smartphone, I would say. Um, it's an easier one. You can of course try it with a mouse too, so if you're very fast with your mouse, do it like that. Um, I am not with this Bluetooth one on the continuum part, because it's just a little bit too slow for me. But um, for instance on a PC or something, you might be able to play it like that very nicely too. Um, I would have admired it to have some kind of option with a keyboard, for instance, uh, I don't know, a couple of different um, keys next to each other, but that's not possible in this game. Um, but with that, it would be fun too with the keyboard. But like this, we just have to play it like that. I even thought about it, I have a piano here, so I could play it if I wanted to and learn the songs or something, if I'm really new with it. Um, I could play it uh, like that, and even so, I may not, for instance, know all the notes or something. I would be able to play at least a simple melody like this with this kind of game if I'm going to just place my smartphone up at the piano or whatever I'm playing there, and then I'm going to play it with that. And yeah, I think it's a fun little game. Just try it out. I think it's a fine one, and uh, it really is fun to play if you are into this kind of game. And of course, you are playing it on your smartphone, for instance. And other than that, I would say that's more or less what I can tell you about this game. And this is the end of the episode. So, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, have a great one. And of course, uh, if you didn't subscribe to now, the button is down below, do that. And other than that, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, give a thumbs up if you didn't. And if you have any kind of questions, commentary, whatever, put it down below in the section. Of course, the commentary section. And um, other than that, thank you for watching, thank you for listening. Don't forget the poll or the survey I'm going to do at the moment about what this channel is going to be in the future. And other than that, thanks and see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.